All right, so as you can see, I am back in the mountains. I'm just here for a quick trip to bring the rainwater tanks, which by the way, this cabin, we are going to be doing rainwater harvesting again, and also to work on cleaning up the cabin site. And looking at it now, like being here in person looking at it, I kind of forgot how intimidating that pile of uh, rubble is because the previous owner just bulldozed it over and just left it in a pile. Uh, who knows what it was, if it was a barn, a house, a cabin, <laughs> I don't really know. But anyways, so I'm gonna work on cleaning up the metal and taking the metal to the recycler and all of the wood to the dump. I'm trying to pick away as much as I can over these next two days. Looking at it, I'm like, oh, um, it's just, it's such a mangled mess that I don't know how much I can actually get done. And also get the camper ready because I'm going to be taking the camper back. And uh, once the little one is born, all five of us are going to be coming back and staying in that little camper. And um, yeah, rugging it for the summer. So let me get started. I think the first thing, first thing on the agenda is clearing that trailer and uh, getting those water tanks off. I'm just gonna let the camera roll. Trying to back this trailer up because I'm gonna back the trailer up into the cabin site and um, there's not much room to turn a 24 foot trailer plus a 20 foot truck around. So this should be interesting. There's not enough room right here to just make this, turn this big old rig around. I'm sure one of you pros out there could probably swing it, but um, I'm not one of them. I've gotten pretty good at maneuvering this trailer around, but uh, clearly no pro. So anyways, I'm going to just unstrap these tanks, roll them off, roll them where I need to, and then flip them up on their side. Makes you wanna swing low, let go. I love what it do to me. I got my hopes knocking outside my door, about to let them all in. But to get some more, you can't buy this thing. Get your corner stop, but you can get it right here for free. I might be seeing the sun, thinking about the whole day, man. Not a single thing that I can say. It's crazy. I loved it. Amazing. Maybe that's just me. Woo! Well, you guys, it's just me here today. Spencer left today to go to our mountain property, so I am flying solo for the next couple days. But yeah, he's just going there to bring the tanks and to hopefully get a little bit of work done. I say hopefully because, like I said, he's not going for too long. And the main reason why is because I am very pregnant and we are getting very close to meeting baby. So I didn't want him to leave for too long, just in case. So yeah, while he's gone, I'm gonna be doing tons of computer work and some little projects kind of outside that I've been wanting to do for a while, so. And the whole reason why we didn't go with him is because he is gonna be staying in the camper and it is still pretty cold, so that means there's no running water in the camper, which means no showers, no being able to do dishes, none of that, so it's a little rough, so <laughs> that's why we hung back and he just went by himself, plus, he can get a lot more done if he's by himself versus with us, so that's why. So one of the things that I really wanted to do now that we are in spring is get some flowers out here. We're just gonna be putting some in pots and also I need to address the plants on the backside of the house that are dead, but first we wanna get these flowers in. 
You guys want to get some flowers planted? Yep. Okay. This looks like a sunshine, Mama. You think so? Our sunshine flower. <laughs> I like that. Yours is so beautiful. That's going to be so surprised, Mama. <laughs> Bringing flowers like the sun brings the moon. Can you hand me that bag, buddy, please? Yeah. We're not. Uh, I'm so strong. <laughs> it's really heavy. It's a full bag. Here. I'm strong. You are strong. <laughs> Well, yeah, but we've caught our own rainwater, so we can just fill up the pitcher. What did you just say to me? I, I say I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're me, and it's so cute, but also so terrifying. <laughs> well, you get me more. Yeah, you? I'll get you more, little boss. <laughs> Forgot to remove the tape that was holding the lids down in transport. All right, well, after doing some riding and going and getting lunch, the sun is now just behind the trees above this mountain next to me, setting in the west. So, I have plenty of daylight hours left, but uh, not much actual sun on me, so it's a little colder. But anyways, I'm going to start uh, on this pile, kind of picking away. I don't even know where to start on this, honestly. I guess just start from the side and kind of work around. I don't know. It's a mess back there. All right, so today's day two, my final day here, unfortunately. So if you can hear in the background, the tractor's running. And the reason why is because I'm gonna be putting the grapple on and the uh, cutter on the back. Uh, because with the grapple, I'm gonna to try to grab at this pile since now it's all, what's left is just sandwiched, bulldozed together. So I'm gonna to try to grab at that, pull it apart. And then the other thing is uh, the cutter. I'm going to widen that field just a little bit along the entrance just because whenever we do bring the cabin up here next time we're just going to have them drop it right there at the entrance of that back field and then once this foundation's built up we can bring in a crane have them pick it up from there and drop it onto the foundation at least that's the plan so let's uh let's get to pulling this pile apart 
first find, a gear of some sort. So the next thing that I wanted to do while Spencer is gone is finish up something that I've actually been working on for a while now. Uh, I've made it my mission to accomplish this before the baby comes and that is restaining the entire house. All the skirting, all the decks, the steps, the batch water heater, everything and I'm almost done. All that I have left are the back steps off of our bedroom and a very small chunk of the skirting. So. I'm gonna try to finish that up today. Oh my god, that giggle. <gasps> So I got that first of my two piles that I made, the larger of the piles I uh, got all flattened out and onto the trailer. And this is going to take more time than I thought. Uh, also the pile is much bigger than I remembered. So I at least got roughly half of the overall pile done uh, and loaded onto the trailer. So I'm going to still need a couple more days, but I don't have that time right now. So what I'm going to be working on right now is just getting the camper ready for the road. Thought to bring the drill, but didn't think to, well actually, I probably should have brought the impact driver, but didn't think to bring a new battery. All right, so my time here is expired. Excited to get back to the Kens and the kids, but there's just something about out here. It's like when I walked out this morning, it's like the air just had this sweet, I don't know how to describe it other than a sweet mountain smell. I don't know. Really enjoy it here. So, um, kind of bummed to be leaving, but also excited because I haven't had a shower in three days. It's just been wet white baths and those are unpleasant <laughs> and not very effective. So let me stop telling you about my stinky behind and uh, hit the road. <laughs> 